speed and jump heart. I think that's going to be a big factor. If he can navigate around the projectiles, then he can put Rob in a pretty bad position. And then those fares and up airs can probably outrange Nair. I'm not 100% sure. At least at the minimum trade and keep him in a good position. So. I think it's going to come down to the drift game because if Wadi is able to really drift back and mess up Komi's spacing, even if he is in shield or jump mode, it's still going to be able to catch Komei off guard. But let's find out. Game one, Wadi versus Komei, Pokemon Stadium 2. Yeah. All right, yeah, str straight into the speed arc. You know, even with the speed arc, he was still kind of waiting. He was trying to figure out how he could get around first. So he was waiting for Wadi to make the first move. Didn't quite happen, though. I mean, that's understandable with as many big hitboxes that Wadi has that essentially work as a shield or a barrier that he's able to put up at will. Yeah, very even true. If you're, even if you're super fast, it's still something you have to deal with. Did you see that? He almost got that. <laughs> he actually used that same exact uh, conversion on Mars, but just like that, it didn't work. <laughs> just got the wrong hitbox. Yeah. Alrighty, here we go. Back into the game. Ooh, that Buster Art. Gonna cost some extra damage. Not quite, though. Alright, uh, pretty much of a stalemate. Got another fair. Oh, that's unfortunate. Very unfortunate, but Wadi's gonna take those. Yeah, I wonder, right what, back I wonder what happened there. I mean, he might have been trying to do like air slash or something and then like accidentally press B first. I feel like that might have been what happened. But, okay, we're all human. Okay, Buster Mode is online. And I like that. Just immediately taking out Buster Mode, putting Shield Mode on, because he was in a disadvantage state against Wadi, which is going to, in fact, have multi hits uh, when Komei is above him, which is going to just multiply that Buster. See how he gets down. All right, he gets sniped out with the with the gyro. Man, why is uh, playing such a collective game right now? That's right. A couple of bounces at the legs are gonna force Komei to recover. Oh, but beating out the side B with a nair. The startup nair was able to clip Wadi. Ooh, okay. Wow, Wadi uh, with a little bit of the, the platform movement. Okay, real nice so far. He's doing a good job of being consistent. He doesn't overstep his boundaries to try and push the lead even more. He's really making Komei try to do all the work. Yeah, but great spot dodge coming out from Komei. It's making it very difficult for him to hit after he's uh, essentially pressuring Wadi's shield. But Anair does connect, and that's going to take Komei's second stock. With Wadi still sitting at his first stock at 135%, Komei's going to be have to, going to have to find an answer very soon. Yeah, this looks difficult. Okay, finally going to take a stock, but he's still a whole stock down. So I feel like Wadi, if he can gain control of the match again, then this is going to be a big, big lead to try and get, a, to get across. Right, using the neutral B, and of course the gyro, continuing to put pressure on Komei from afar. Oh, even picking up the gyro along the way. Okay, how does he get in? Oh man, he was just waiting for the option again, but... Awadi was... Oh! One seven. oh god! And he switched to shield mode! That was not the mode you want to be in, in that situation! Wow. That was... Man, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Very unfortunate <laughs> you see, for Komei. Did, did you see the two of them? They're look, looking down, like thinking, like, "Wow, that, that really ha that happened." <laughs> that, 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 they, I think they, were, neither of them was really expecting that for that to kill. Yeah, and Wadi, <laughs> Wadi's trying to keep it cool, like, "Yeah, I, I, I thought of that." <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know, you know, you gotta play that off, like, "Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen." Yeah, I did that on purpose. Mm -hmm. But in fact, he did do that on purpose. But he wasn't expecting. I'm sure he wasn't expecting Komei to switch to the shield mode with, or uh, smash mode. Which would act the extra launch onto Kome? Yeah, that was really weird. Okay, well, moving it on. We got still, we still got game two. We got three, potentially four. We'll have to see. But starting off with a big grab already. Shield art. Okay, at least uh, less hit stun, so he's able to retaliate with like five percent. Less hit stun, less launch. Just putting him in prime position to retaliate. Yeah, he only got like five percent off it, but still, just a little things that count. Ooh, I like that. Getting the forward air and getting a. He's doing the. the the down tilt and then pushing Komei just that much closer to the ledge. Uh -huh. Down tilting again, pushing him, and then getting the S smash. All right, not able to find the gyro edge guard quite yet. He's got the control though, so he's got to try. Okay, back hitting there. 
Okay, he sees the percent deficit and he really wants to try and make it up. Gomez switching to bust mode, getting able to land a couple hits on Wadi. So this bust mode really working in his favor. He's taking out a little bit of extra damage with the up tilt, but now Wadi able to land. Oh man, that was almost dragged down off air into grab. Not quite able to find it. Up smash? Try to look for it. He had the right idea, but uh, jump mode assisted Kome with making sure that he popped up a lot higher than usual. Oh, the up tilt didn't quite hit on the side, so he then was able to pick him up. Back throw, up throw. Uh, he tried to do the no mash mix up, but he didn't make it out in time after the up air was committed. It was a good mix up to have. Definitely want to mix up your timing, especially being in those grounded animations. Yeah. Oh, okay, so I think like, I, don't, I, wasn't, I wasn't sure about that shield mode right there because I feel like Wadi was able to convert just a little bit harder because Kome wasn't being launched very far. Uh -huh. But at the same time, he didn't take too much damage, so. Air Slash, Slash comes in. All right, he's got to try and figure out this stock soon. All right, I like that from Wadi. Goes in real deep, makes uh, Kome a little bit hesitant. I think he didn't have any arcs left to use. Uh, to make that kind of edge, edge guard, so very smart decision making from Wadi. Okay, back air does able to sneak in against Wadi, putting Wadi off stage once again. Not taking control of the gyro, but an air slash sending Wadi across stage again. Yeah, I, I really like what Komi's trying to do. He's trying to walk, he's trying to elicit a reaction out of Wadi. He's trying to make him a little bit uneasy, but I feel like just in this kind of scenario when he's already down a whole stock and a half right now, it's just really difficult to really try and pressure a person like Wadi, who's normally not really scared in most situations anyway. Well, we do see Buster Mode, and you can see that Kome is trying to make up that deficit. So far, he has been able to land a couple hits onto Wadi, and he made good use of it earlier in the match, too. But as you can see, that Buster Mode coming in clutch, and now Smash Mode up till almost enough to take the stock, even though Wadi was only at 89%. I like that. Uses the, uses the stall to try and get around. He has enough gas? Yes, he does. Okay. I was really scared for a second. I thought he was not going to make it back. And why he proficient in uh, Rob? You know, he's trying to restall out just that much further. But Komei was ready for it that time. Did you see that? He just jabbed on shield once, waited for the roll, and then turned around and grabbed. That was crazy. Wadi is playing so confident right now. And in fact, a testament of confidence. But Air Slash is able to connect. That's 22 damage. But Seni Kome just that much further. Uh, I think he's dead. Yep, he's dead. Okay, speed mode is out. One stock apiece. Ooh, tried to use the laser. Didn't quite come out yet. Interesting that Kome switching to Buster mode. He was already in the percent lead, but I guess he really just wants to extend it as far as he can. Getting the first hit up to... And Did you see that? He set up a trap against Wadi. Man, what is up with all of these, like, first hit of multi-hit aerial into, like, tilt or smash attack setups these days? It's the future. It's the future, man. Future. Future. <laughs> People in the chat, tell me what I was referencing right now. I bet you, like, 33% of you won't remember what I'm, what I'm referencing right now. Well, that would make me very sad. <laughs> That's a great meme. Yeah, that just makes you old, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't just say that. All right, but anyways, we're 1-1 one, one right now. Actually, yeah. even though Wadi was playing extremely confident, I don't know if it was just because he got too comfortable or what, but Kome, in a blink of an eye, just got all the damage he needed. I mean, I think it was rolling the dice that he likes to do. Yeah. He switched to Buster Mode, even though he was 50% over Wadi, and was able to extend that lead that much further. He rolled the dice, it came out in his favor, then put him in a lose-lose situation, with Smash Mode on. Yeah. Alrighty, Kome with the, with the keep fighting. <laughs> Let's go <and> see. <laughs> Yo, I didn't know he was into our SoCal memes. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. FD. Oh man, that down tilt. Ain't that a great move? <laughs> Ooh, it's probably the best move. It's a very good, very good move. All right, here we go. Lands with the Nair already. Is he gonna? I thought he was gonna go for like side B immediately, but I guess not. No, but I do like what he was going for instead. Is he threw the gyro against the against Final Destination, and I think he's gone. Yep. GG. Did, did you see stock. that laser? That laser didn't look like you should have hit there, but it did. I'm so upset. Yo. And he got the gyro afterwards too. It's like, oh yeah, nice. He hit. Oh yeah, let me get the gyro too. <laughs> You're dead. Okay, Nair connecting for Kome. He's able to really eat through the gyro along the way. 
The shield mode is on deck. Jump. Try to call the jump. Not quite finding anything, but still, Wadi again. I think I think he didn't let that game phase him. He's still playing with that confidence. Just sticking to his game plan, not swaying far from it like he did in game one and two. I mean, right now he definitely has the lead, and with a uh, you know with the stock lead, it's really your your opponent's responsibility to approach. Oh, Ooh. get that out of here! No jump mode, no problem. Wow, that was just out of nowhere too. He just kind of went for it. And most of the time he didn't do it until it was like guaranteed, but he decided to snipe him. Like, oop, oh, see ya. Look at that, stalling out so high up, just trying to stall out smash <laughs> mode, but. Kome said, like, you know what? I got an answer for that, too. Here's jump mode up air. You may remember this from Smash 4. All right, here we go. Trying to continue on. Yeah, Kome's got a lot to, to work with here. Uh, Wadi, on the other hand, going to be very comfortable. Very comfortable right now. But and poking then, in with that back air, and that's, you know, really what Kome's looking for. He's looking for these hits that he can get away with. Okay, the second hit of down air connecting onto Wadi. Oh no, this is not where Kome wants to be. Taking yeah. the, the double edge of of uh, Buster Mode. Yep, ooh, okay. Intercepts him in the air. All right, just gets into the dash attack, into the fair, double fair. That's the, there's no jump, I don't think. But he has jump art, so he's gonna be fine. All right, jump mode coming online. Now Buster Mode, he's trying to make up that deficit, but let's see if Wadi is going to fact give him an opportunity. If I'm Wadi, I'm trying to like put some space between me and that Buster Mode. I'm at a low percent. I'm not exactly in a situation where I could lose my stock, but good match coming out from Kome from that down throw. Okay, the interception in the air. Oh, he found the 8-bit man setup. Going in with the down throw up there. I think just uh, one more hit from Wadi. Oh, he, he was it. trying to down tilt him into the gyro and then get the up smash conversion. The side B, uh, not going to be able to catch him. We're seeing these, these moves like slowly poke, bringing back that deficit. Yeah, Kome really tried to go in with like a cheesy Rob there with the, with the jump art forward air. Not quite going to be able to seal the game this time around though. No, I don't know how much what you talked says, but I'm a big fan of cheese. And if you, <laughs> got, some, if you got some type of good, let me see it. What's he looking for? He's... Man, he just needs like two hits and then all of a sudden it's like an even game. But the positioning, the jump art, gets right out of there. Oh yes, the back air. Finally pulls it out. Didn't use it at all this entire uh, set actually. And I finally mean, uses it on the ledge trap. When you think about it, it's not exactly like a good move to use against Shulk. Yes, it does like kind of adjust your placement and it puts a hitbox out, but at the same time, Shulk's sword is so huge that it almost doesn't matter. Yeah, if he did like a jump back, or if he did like drop down fade back, jump fair, like that probably would have hit him and then he would have gotten control again. But he just went for it because he knew that Kome wasn't expecting it because they, he didn't use it at all the entire match. And you know uh, what? Match. Just going for it has worked out for Wadi, especially in that game three. That's how he was able to secure the second stock. Exactly. And now we're going into game four with the uh, advantage being in Wadi's favor. Yeah, very nice though. There we go. <laughs> Get the air slash. Yeah, I like the boxing that are coming out from both players. You can see both players uh, respecting each other's spacing because uh, they're trying to make sure that they don't, in fact, uh, are the one that makes the first mistake. Whereas you can see Wadi is now off stage with smash mode. That down air is going to, in fact, kill. But stalling out, making sure that that smash mode is, in fact, all gone, but not safe enough. Yeah. Battlefield, of course, the floor is a lot lower than a lot of the other stages, so definitely a lot more time for Kome to kind of see what Rob was doing, first of all, and second of all, to make a decision like, okay, you use up this much gas, you're trying to stall as much as possible, but I got you. Who gets this dare? Take the stock. And that's also, you know, the repercussion of using tactics that you've previously shown in the set. Your opponent is aware that you're going to go for those type of options, just like Kome was aware that Squatty was going to try and stall out Smash Mode. Man, dude, that down tilt makes me so angry sometimes. He's, <laughs> he's just like poke, 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 poke on the shield. It's like, just work, damn it, work. <laughs> just trying to bully you, dog. Yeah. Pop, pop, pop. 
Alrighty. Wadi's got... Okay, now once Wadi is, like, behind, then it makes it a little bit more difficult to actually, like, continue his game plan. So we'll have to see. He's got to make a move to try and bring this back around because they've already got the stock overlap. No tech chase situation. Gets the grab, though. No up smash comes out. I, I like that. That time, waited for the up smash. Mash as hard as he could, and it got out as I mean, soon as it was over. The no mash tech coming in to play for Kome. And now we have Buster Mode. Interesting. Going for the Buster Mode. He, both players are already at an extremely high percent. I don't know, man. Maybe he like it was a missing input, but he's like, oh man, I, I already, I already picked Buster mode, so <laughs> gotta stick, gotta stick with this. Well, it's un I would say it's very difficult to understand the mind of a top player, Shulk. Yep. Air yeah, slashing back to the ledge and taking his time getting back from the ledge, making sure he uses, utilizes the invincibility, but an up throw from Wadi's gonna even up the stocks. Yep. Close this out right there. All right, Smash Mode, we're going to see up tilt at the ledge. What's going to be going for? Air Slash, and the second hit connects. All righty, I see you. All right, the off throw. Immediately changing into shield and switching to Buster Mode. Let's yeah. see who's going to be racking up all the damage here. Is it going to be Kome or Wadi? It looks like Wadi has, in fact, gotten the better end of the Smash Mode until those double Nair lands. Yeah, Kome is just he's, he's taking his time a little bit on this on this next game because he's got a pretty decent size lead. So the only matter of the that he has to worry about now is basically just keeping that lead because Wadi can still make like a cheesy like 70% kill or something, bring this back around totally. Especially with throwing your opponent off stage, air slash with shield mode, gonna make sure that Kome makes it back. Not forfeiting that stock just yet. We can see a back throw, down throw, and what's the up smash? No up smash. Up That's us. Oh my God. What? That, this is Battlefield, how did that? Okay, wow, he, he liked, okay, to be fair, that DI was pretty bad. He like went straight up after that up air too, so. You're right, you're right. Yeah. Man, that we was great. We should definitely have a more of an angle. Yeah. But shield mode's coming back, and you can see Wadi already evening up the stock, 72%. Actually, not that big of a difference. Yeah, that's exactly what he needed. He needed like a decently early kill, and now he's got a big opportunity to try and bring it back. Okay, Air Slash gonna put Wadi at a good percent, 105%. And now that speed mode, speed mode and smash mode are gonna be the bane of Wadi. Oh, okay, looking like he was really trying to set up yeah. for that down air. Yeah, that was really scary. I thought he used up his jump too, so the way the, the way he directional air dodged that early, that was such a big risk, but he went for it. Oh, I like the bait. So Kome actually switched to uh, Buster to try and make Wadi approach him. And he immediately switched to Smash to try and get it up to, to right. take the game. All right, we're on to the jump art now. Try to use a little bit more movement, maybe go for a deep edge guard. If he has the opportunity, he's got the control. Switching to speed. Okay, another down throw and an oh. up smash gonna connect. Not gonna be enough to take the stock. But it is going to even up the percents. You know what? That's just as good for Wadi. He does have those long range utilities. Oh, that sucks. He didn't have jump art back. But he's got some smash art still. Gonna get that back here. Okay, we're going to game five here, folks. Game five. Wadi versus Kome. If you have just been joining us, this has been one of the most exciting sets we've had on stream all day. Man. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's kind of meditating. He's like, whew. Man, that was that was too close for comfort, man. Wadi is so good at trying to clutch it out. Just think about the caliber of these two players. Both of them are thinking so hard about what the band needs to be, what their next stage pick is going to be, and how they can utilize that stage to their advantage. Do you see how long they're, they're waiting to, to yeah, pick? Yeah, because they have a lot to think about right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, damn, what just happened in the last four games and what stages should I ban because of it? Crazy stuff, dude. Okay, so the last stage for this set is going to be town and city. All righty, here we go. Very wide stage, but it's also very tall, so kind of kind of works both ways. Like, like Komei has a lot of room to use all of his Monado arts, so it's, we're gonna have to see how this plays out. Okay, well game five. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, no matter which way this set goes, I'm gonna be extremely satisfied because both these players Players of these caliber, they both deserve to move on. <laughs> but there can only be one. There can only be one. It's sad how brackets work that way, man. Well, <laughs> not everybody can be a winner. Yeah. So far, it looks like. Okay, interesting air slash. But uh, so far, it looks like that uh, Wadi's taking advantage of the white space so far, using his uh, gyro and the, the lack of uh, close 
uh, platforms to the ledge to try and uh, get around that, those situations. I think if Colmate committed to a double jump on those platforms, it would be put him in a worse position. Well, now we have Buster Moto out. As you can see, Colmate is sort of uh, on the receiving end of this double-edged sword. Trying to land with the Nair, very good tool for Rob to have. But Kome able to sneak in a Nair of his own. Ooh, Buster Mode is online. You know that this is when Wadi is that has to be just a little bit more careful. Down air doesn't connect. Oh, that's unfortunate. He still has a shield art, so I think he would have been okay. But still, regardless, that was, uh, that was a big opportunity from Wadi. Air Splash is going to eat up that gyro. And a side B, not going to be effective at all as Komei just jumps from the ledge, and now speed mode is online, going very deep, trying to challenge uh, Wadi's recovery. He's got to look for something here at the ledge. Shulk's very strong here, but Wadi just with a couple down tilts, decides, okay, I'm going to try and take control back, and now we're back in the reverse order. Okay, getting the trade. That's actually going to put Komei in favor. I really like that attempt there from Komei to hit the gyro to get an extended hitbox, but it did not quite work out that way he wanted to. So. Both of them fly in the sky. No one's quite caving in on their stock yet. It's been two minutes so far. Neither of them have uh, sealed the deal yet. I mean, that's just how careful both these players are trying to play. Smash mode comes out, and we're going to see the air slash. But the gyro is not going to do anything to that. Do you see the percents right now? These two are going blow for blow at the moment. I know. Looking really difficult for either of these two to really seal, a seal out of stock. I honestly couldn't ask for anything better. This has been an amazing set. And like I said, it doesn't matter who wins. Both players have been playing phenomenally. You're going to see the back throw. And with that smash mode, with the assist of that smash mode, that show got deleted. Yep, yeeted off the screen. Off the screen. There we go. Let's see Wadi. How long he can uh, keep up this lead, though? The way they've been going back to back, I feel like that's one of those situations where if you lose this. Oh, my God. If you lose your stock lead, that's definitely a lot harder because you've been going blow for blow. But if you can't see out the stock and you're still exchanging the same amount of neutral exchanges, then it makes it so that your lead slowly goes away really badly. Yeah, Very you still true. can't find the kill. I mean, dash attack is exactly one of the best kill modes from uh, Shulk unless you got uh, smash mode online. But now that we have speed mode, Wadi taking his time, making it back to stage. Essentially, he waited out the entire speed mode. Oh, the Smash Art's out. Okay, that's definitely got to do it. Okay, finally. Man, both sides of the crowd are cheering for both Wadi and Komei. They just enjoy this set so far. How can you blame them? This has been very entertaining. These players are amazing. Getting a couple down tilts. Yeah, using put them in a bad laser. position. Oh, the up air. Okay, he got fine this time. <laughs> he didn't go straight up. Okay, shield mode's popping up. Now that shield mode is going to be on cooldown. I don't know about that. Shield mode just maybe popped it a little bit too early. Okay. Here we go. Gets the gyro. Ah, nothing much. These two are being really careful right now. Oh, falling up air. Oh, but instead of going for another up air, he went for Nair. That's kind of allowing Roddy to pop out of the combo. Only getting 47%. All right, the speed arts back on. Oof, runs right into a Nair, unfortunate. Oh, using the second jump, but Shield saving Kome from the last hit of the down smash from Wadi. Yeah, that was on, that was really good play. Good, good play from Kome for sure. Oh, directional air dodge, you air dodge too early. You need to lay off that air, that R button. All right, now I gotta listen for when the crowd cheers for Wadi. Now we gotta see who the house is rooting for, man. I mean, it's really hard to tell because, I mean, both of these are fan favorites. Buster mode is coming back out once again, 158% onto Wadi. So that makes complete sense as to uh, why Buster mode is out. Ooh, that back air was so strong. Like you saying, off the screen. Yeah, we don't really see that back air come out too often, but what we have has really been uh, useful for Wadi. Oh, that was that was really weird. I think Kome like accepted that he was gonna get hit, and then when he did get hit by the F match, he was kind of lying there. So he, he was able to get out of there just fine, though. Even game from both of these two. The gyro combo comes in. Man, neither of these two have had a lead for, so, for that long in this final game. They're really pulling out all the stops in this match. I know. I love it. I couldn't ask for anything more between these two players. The up air does connect. And unfortunately for Kome, he was in Buster Mode, so he took a little bit of extra damage from that multi-hit. Being a little bit more careful right now. Good on the spacing. Okay, oh, smash, smash, smash it down here? I thought he was going to run off. Oh, oh no, the up smash. Smash. Not quite able to find it. 
He's that was so, so scary. He's so brave. He was playing safe the whole time, and he's like, oh! oh! The jump up air! He did the smash for cheese! He chased him all the way up to the sky! Oh, man. Kome. Cedric, what just happened? <laughs> he, uh... He pulled a Smash 4 on him, dude. He definitely did. I could not have said it better myself. Roddy must have felt so 